You just watched a scuffle between a United Airlines worker and a professional football player by the name of Brendan Langley at the Newark Airport. Now Langley currently plays for the Calgary Stampeders in the Canadian Football League. And to be quite honest with you, there's still too few details to really fully comprehend what happened here. But let me share what we know right now. So first off, who hit who first and what caused this? Based on the video evidence we have and more could come out in the future, I wanna make sure that you're aware of that. It looks like the United Airline worker is the one who struck Langley first. And we have a screenshot of that moment. Again, this could have been a video taken out of context. Maybe there's more context that we'll be informed about later. But the worker appears to be the one who slaps Langley first. And Langley appears to be defending himself. And that's what he also claimed on social media later. Now, Langley was arrested on a simple assault charge according to TMZ. The fight reportedly started when the employee asked Langley to give up a wheelchair that Langley had been using to push his luggage. So he was advised to use a luggage cart, which costs $5 to use. Um, I don't know why he didn't just do that. Uh, but I can tell you for sure that if I were the United Worker, I would not then proceed to assault someone over their refusal to use the proper receptacle for luggage. Yeah, so this one is really hard because we don't have the beginning of the fight. So we're just guessing, right? Uh, but uh, the, the context clues are uh, the football player seems like he's trying to walk away at least in this second half of that, right? And then the worker comes and hit, slaps him across the face. Uh, so and then he, uh, you know, hits him a couple times and the guy falls over. But we don't know what happened in the beginning. But also listening to their quotes, uh, is, to be fair, the the, the employee here, uh, I have not seen anything from. But the football player, I did see his quotes, and he is super adamant that he did not start the fight. And uh, I don't know, it was seemed believable. We're guessing here, but either way, whoever started the fight is wrong. And I don't. If you started that fight, I don't care what else happened to you. So, um, and by the way, if Langley isn't doing the right thing and he's using a wheelchair that obviously disabled uh, travelers are gonna need, uh, it's okay to be upset about that. Get security involved, uh, don't start slapping people or throwing punches or anything like that. Um, but, you know, and by the way, the United Worker has been fired. Uh, he is not facing assault charges, even though Langley is. Now let's get to Langley's tweet. He says, it's crazy how much you can get assaulted by an actual airline employee and defend yourself, but media will run the narrative that they want to. This is the problem in our society today, shaking my head. Don't believe everything you read, TMZ to be honest. Uh, this is bad of y'all uh, taking another man's pain as a joke. So he uh, quote tweeted the TMZ report on this. And so he, again, as Jenk said, he's adamant that he, you know, did, he didn't start this. Uh, he was defending himself. Based on the video we have, that's what appears to be the case. Um, but again, for the billionth time, we need more context. And why do uh, why is the media, in his opinion, smearing him here? It's the same thing we talk about in almost every story, whether it's political or not political. The media wants headlines and they want a certain point of view. So why does TMZ want to pick a side? Because it's more scandalous if the famous football player mm. is the one that's committing the assault. So that's an easy headline, gets you a lot of clicks, right? Yeah, that's true. And look, we all have our biases, right? So this story was going viral recently. It was pitched for the show yesterday. But we had no context yesterday, and I'm my bias is in favor of the worker. So if we had covered it yesterday, I would have defended the worker without knowing the full context, right? By the way, even today we don't know the full context, but at least we have more details on what transpired in regard to um, the issue that sparked the altercation. Yeah, and the most important part is we tell you what we know. Right. We don't hide some of the evidence to make it seem like, oh, that's so scandalous, that's so interesting, etc. And the job of TMZ is is to cover celebrities and partly to get them in trouble. So totally. that's, that's that's what they did here. And then Langley's like, wait a minute, that's not even true. And by the way, we keep calling him famous, but I mean, he was a play NFL player for like three minutes. 
the Broncos, so, right? Yeah, yeah, but he, he was not a relevant. Star. He wasn't a star player. Let's put it that way. I'm not trying to diss Oof, him. I'm, he's gonna be tweeting about you next. <laughs> okay, that's fine. That's fair. And maybe I don't. I missed his career. But my <laughs> point is, like, they'll do it to anyone as long as they can call it football player, and a former NFL player. It goes wild at the airport. Who cares about context? They're just trying to get clicks. We try really hard to give you all the context and facts that we know. Okay, this is a little bit of an aside, but I just gotta say it. Um, I'm so sick of airports charging us for literally everything, right? Like five dollars for the luggage thing? Why? Like they'll they'll nickel and dime you like crazy. Anything? Well, what's next? You gonna charge us for toilet paper in the bathrooms? Mm. I don't want to give them any ideas, but I, I would not be surprised at this point. Yeah, some airlines are charging you for carry-ons. Uh, and it's, um, I, I forget the exact term, but it's something along the lines of planned misery. Yes. This yep. is an actual thing that airlines do where they think if we can create enough misery for the passenger, they'll pay to relieve some of that misery. To be less miserable. So right. if you have a lot of luggage, a lot of heavy luggage, and you would need help or something to help you move it around, well, you know. They're gonna Let's, want to monetize it. Exactly, exactly, it's disgusting. Now there's another twist to this story uh, that I did not expect. And it involves Alec Baldwin. So Alec Baldwin commented on this story. I, I think, look, especially if you're a public figure, maybe wait. Like we were careful in covering it. But Alec Baldwin, he's like, no, I know who's guilty. I'm gonna share my thoughts. So he did it in the form of a comment on this video on Instagram saying, the guy working at the airport is the victim. He came to work to do a job. People come to work with the expectation of safety, even civility. This, you know, a hole uh, who hit the guy should be put on a no fly list. Uh, but Alec, you don't know all the details. And even like what we do have right now, which is that video, clearly shows the worker slapping Langley in the face first. Yeah, I don't think it's that clear because they were already fighting. Mm -hmm. the, the slap across the face is the second. Round of the fight in a sense, right? But clearly, he doesn't have enough information. By the way, if it turns out we find the beginning of the video or we get the more evidence, we'll come back and tell you, oh, if it's the opposite, then you know, then don't hate on the worker. And by the way, don't hate on the worker anyway. They had a fight, there's consequences. He, one guy's fired, the other guy's facing charges. And you know who should actually figure it out? The cops. Totally. And if, if Langley started it, then he should be arrested. If he didn't start it, he shouldn't be arrested. And if the United Airlines worker started it, he should be arrested on top of being fired. And that's not that hard. And and obviously there's the irony of Alec Baldwin yes. complaining about workplace violence. Yeah, he and, and accidentally not, shot and killed someone. Yeah, and it was an accident. It really was for yeah. Alec Baldwin. Uh, but, but also beyond that irony, Alec Baldwin has an unbelievable temper. And so, for him to say, "Can you believe somebody got mad at work?" One of really? the first <laughs> stories that TYT, like one of the first stories I remember TYT covering when I first started working here, was an Alec Baldwin story where he had left uh, voice messages for his daughter. Yeah. And look, Alec, I agree with Alec Baldwin's politics, and I'm and and so I, I like generally what he says, but he's known for having a temper. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, anyways, I, I just think it's a bit ironic to say the least. And calculated misery is what you were referring to there you with go. the airlines, yeah.